Hi everyone, Enemy1105 here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks in the Ultimate Beginner's Guide of Grow and Raise an Epic Doge. Basically, we're gonna be going through some tips and tricks about the game, specifically for like more newer players and such. Um, so specifically for the ones who do not have any of the VIP game passes or any of the game pass which affects gameplay in some way. So, um, if you don't want to do some pay to win gameplay or whatever, this video is for you. So, um, this is also going to be all, um, good for like beginner players as well. So, if you or someone you know plays the Grow Race and Epic Doge but either is revisiting it or it just hasn't really played it before, send this video to them or just continue watching or whatever. So, we're going to be going through some tips and tricks in four different categories Doge Care or XP Farming, Progression, Doge coins in combat. We're gonna be going through these different categories in each of these in each of these parts of this video today. Oh, and by the way, not all of these tips are gonna be as helpful. So if you're a pro grad player who has another tip that you think is pretty useful, let me know in the comments. So first up, we're gonna do some Doge care in XP farming. As you can tell by the name. Growing your doge right here is one of the main objectives in the game. You basically kind of like feed it and such. Um, well, you know, killing a doge, you know, it doesn't really have any effect whatsoever. It just responds once you kill it. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it responds. So, there isn't really like much to that. We're going to be going over through how to keep your doge alive as well. But we're mainly going to be um focusing on XP farming. Basically, um, to kind of like get as much XP as you can, um, with all the berries you can find around here. So, um, the first tip for this is always make sure to stock up on these berries. These are going to be really good, um, for feed for getting XP faster. So, if you just kind of like walk around the island, you'll see a bunch of berry, um, sources, especially the trees. It doesn't matter if you just find all like the common ones of you obviously will but if you stock up enough on it on enough berries um it everything should be fine like it honestly doesn't really matter just make sure you get enough of these berries and everything and um yeah so just get all these berries get to your doge And then once you start feeding it, you should be able to get enough XP for it. And it will eventually grow if you feed it enough. Okay, um, another tip for this one is um, enemies, if you have like any weapons in your inventory, which we'll talk about sometime later, are really good for like um, berry farming as well. So if you have good combat skills or whatever, um, you can just go up to an enemy, like this one right here. Let me see if I can kill this one with this laser gun I have. Ah, uh, no. Oh, just be careful though. So, once you kill an enemy, you get a bunch of stuff from it. Um, it'll drop a few berries, along with some coins. You can take those, we'll talk about coins later. Um, so, if you manage to defeat enough enemies, you will stock out on all of these, um, silent berries. And, um, yeah. Another good resource for berries are these caves right here with, um, crystals in them. Uh, one of the tips does say you have to use a strong weapon. Um, I believe the weakest weapon you can use is the Buster Sword, which you can find in the Captain Double Shop. Um, so if you hit one of these with, like, a more stronger weapon... Um, it can be ranged, all, by the way. Um, as you can see, these have silent berries in them. And if you break these, a silent berry will dispense out. Another tip on taking care of your doge is always make sure it's not hungry. As you can see in the second bar of the stats right here, um, the hunger will slowly go down if you do not feed it enough. And if it does run out, your doge will just die automatically. So, always make sure you feed your doge regularly if you're going to take care of it. Um, so if you just kind of like do some of that. 
Yeah. Always make sure this hunger bar is at least full. Another good tip on taking care of your doge is by using these berries, which are called heart berries, which give 250 HP and 25 XP, which doesn't seem much because you may think these berries are specifically meant for like healing your doge in like certain um situations, but it's actually really good for your doge's health itself as well. Because these berries actually have the ability to increase your doge's max health. So what that means is your doge will be able to hold more health. So if you're using it for like small combat or whatever, you're able to um feed these to your doge and then it, it will be able to die. Well, it will still die though. But if you feed enough of these, it will manage to hold more health. So if it ever gets attacked by um another doge or like another enemy somewhere um you can use the heart berries to feed to your doge okay next up we're gonna be talking about is progression which is basically everything else like doge coins or whatever um uh, xp for whatever just the main progression of the game itself if you're a beginner player presents are gonna be really good to help you because they do contain a bunch of loot if you open these things so when you open these, you get a bunch of stuff, like like the like a line of berries right here, and some doge coins. Presents can also sometimes drop weapons. For example, uh, these ones drop two of them, which is pretty good. Um, they will usually drop one or two weapons if you're lucky. Um, so yeah, presents are gonna be really good for like stocking up on berries and gaining weapons as well if you're like. Trying to save up for some weapons, but don't have any right now. So, yeah. It's going to be really good once you go on. Okay, next tip. Rebirths. Rebirthing is going to be super worth it once you go on in the game. Because it does increase the amount of XP you get from berries. So, let's say you have... um. Let's say you want to get more XP from each berry to make your doge grow quicker. Rebirthing is going to be really good because it will, because although it does, um, uh, reset everything except weapons and, and rebirths, obviously, um, it will make it so you can grow your doge faster, which is pretty good. Next tip, um, Always try to visit the other islands if you can, because a lot of these other islands will have a bunch more loot, which will be really good if you're going to do more progression and such. Um, there are multiple ways you can do this um, by finding teleport, which I will show how later. Um, taking the taking the dropship, which goes from uh, this deck over here. I don't know if you can see that. The dropship, um, it's going to be at this dock. By the captain's shop and it's gonna go all the way to over to that other island over there it doesn't really have a name whatever or you can use these zip lines which are located around each of these islands they take it to different islands among the game so to get on these things you just kind of like have to jump on them it does take a few attempts to do so and then once you get on it, you will already be taken to these once you do that you'll be taken over to the islands and then you'll be able to kind of explore. But still do be careful about these, by the way. Because, like, um, you, uh, there, the, you can, stronger enemies are present here. Like, um, for example, that green side one over here. You want to leave those Uh, yeah. These guys are the most strongest main enemies in the game. So always watch out for ones that you can't defeat. Only focus on the ones that you are able to defeat. So let's say um those beginner enemy those beginner bosses right there are the only ones you're able to take on. Only focus on those for now. And then once you get stronger weapons, um you start slowly focusing on all the other Um if you if you start to focus on more stronger enemies later on, um you will die a bunch. Um about dying. Uh dying is pretty broken in this game. If you if you're trying to stock up on like um, weapons or whatever, there's a bug in this game where, um, whenever you die, it removes all your set duplicate weapons. So, as a recommendation for, like, any weapon loss or whatever, 
always rejoin when you're um when you're dying or whatever. Um, simply just like don't die in the game. Yeah. Um, just be pretty careful. It's a pretty buggy game. It hasn't been updated in years. Speaking of health about yourself, make sure you always grab these things, which are called health capsules. They increase the max health of your player, which, like a doge's, increases the amount of health that you can hold. It's going to be really good if you're difficult at combat, so always try to find those around if you can. Um, teleports. You can find teleports by finding these little spots right here. Um, the, um, for, as you can see, I have all of them unlocked. Um, there are seven total in the game. Two of them are going to be all, already unlocked, and they don't have teleports. While the rest of these five right here do have teleport pa pads like this. The nearest one to the spawn is the captain shop, which is located under this building right here. It's not too far. You can find it. Um, this these shops are where you can buy certain weapons or whatever, um, to like um, to get better at defeating enemies. So uh, yeah, that's how you um get around and continue with progression. Remember, if you have if you have any more tips that you think will be good in the game. Um, uh, just let me know. Also, by the way, a non-clickable clickable link will be in the description if you want to play this as well. It's non-clickable because I lost my access to advanced features, which sucks. Um, so I'll have to wait until I get those back. I'm trying to make more videos lately. I might do a few more live streams as well, so we'll be able to support me along the way or something. Okay, next up what we're going to be talking about is Dogecoins. The main, um, yeah, Dogecoins are not the cryptocurrency. Dogecoins as in Grown Racing Epic Doge Dogecoins. Um, they're the main, uh, currency in the game. Uh, you can find different kinds of coins, and, you'll, and um, if you're able to stock them, some of them, you can use it to buy certain items such as weapons or meshes for your Doge. Um, so we're going to be going through some tips on, like, coin grinding or whatever. Um, so, so, the best ways to grind, um, doge coins, um, are coin drops in the classic version, which will, um, show, which I'll show you later. But let's go over enemies. Um, enemies are one of the really good options for, like, um, coin grinding. So if we have, um, a decent combat skills or whatever, sorry about all, like, my stuttering or bad english or whatever i didn't really get an exact script for this so if you're able to kind of like get enough combat skills here never mind yeah remember guys don't tr try to focus on enemies you can't defeat only focus on the ones now So, um, enemies can drop a load of coins, which will be really good, um, going on. Um, so, make sure, make sure you always stock up on these weapons. It will be really good along the way. Um, so, about coin drops, um, coin drops in this game, it's not the best, unfortunately, since this game has way different, um, coin drop systems than the classic version. So, credit to my friend Foxy for, like, these tips, by the way. Um, his channel will be in the description. So, okay. Always make sure you save before you leave the game or whatever. Um, so, this tip is actually going to be in the classic version of Grow and Race and Epic Doge. Which can be accessed by tapping on, by tapping or clicking on this do door icon here. And then you can tap teleport if you want to go to the classic version. Don't worry, all of your progress will be transferred. Rebirths don't exist in this version, by the way. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of different things in this version. Like, different trees or something. And the land isn't, like, as detailed as what in the main game. So, the main, uh, doge grind- doge coin grinding method I'm gonna be showing you guys, um, are the coin drops in here. Um, coin drops in here are honestly, like, much better. So, if you just kinda, like, continue going on- <laughs> You'll see like these golden discs on the ground, and 
of course, from what you can tell, they're Doge coins. So if you just kind of like go around the map and then grab these up, as you can see, um, it's actually much better because more of them drop actually. And then like, it'll be really good for Dogecoin grinding. This method does kind of like take a while rather than um the enemies one. But if you just kind of like get used to it or whatever, you will be able to eventually save up some. Oh yeah. And you can get 100 coins from these as well because like in the uh, main version, the, the main modern version, uh, the rainbow coins have this issue where they fall through the ground, which honestly kind of sucks. It's kind of the same for the 10 coins as well. So if you're going to get coins from coin rain, from like those little coin rains specifically, go to the classic version. Um, it's like a much better method if you're going to do um, non-VIP coin rains. So just kind of like go around and just... Grab coins when you can. As you can see, I already have 256 of them, which is really good. So if you just kind of like grind around for a little while, you should be able to rack up enough coins if you're going to like buy something or whatever. Wow. Okay, so now I have 426 coins. So um, speaking of racking up coins, I know this is like a pretty obvious tip. But always make sure you save, you save up if you're going to, like, buy something, like, a weapon you really want or something. Because, like, obviously you don't want to waste all of your coins and then obviously realize, like, oh, I want that weapon. I should, I should have gotten that one. Yeah, always make sure you save up on them coins. Okay, now let's head back to the main version to talk about... No, main version. Let's head back to the main version to talk about what we're going to be talking about next. Okay, we're back. Alright, now the last tip is going to be combat, which obviously is one of the main things in the game as well, out of since the Summer Deluxe update. Basically, for this one, we're going to be talking about tips on, like, dodge com like, like, combat against enemies or whatever, because, like, you know, um, enemies are kind of hard to defeat if you're a beginner player or whatever. So, using these tips might help you. Alright, so, first off, yeah, um, we're not gonna talk about Doge Combat, let's go somewhere else for this, Doge Island, wait, no, wait, yeah, we're gonna be going to that island over there for this, okay, we're here, so, first tip, um, oh, let, let it teleport over here real quick, okay, so first tip, um, if you have a young Doge, don't use it for combat, please. Um, yeah, doges are not very good at combat. Yeah, watch that thing die instantly. Yeah, doges are not very good at combat. Don't, like, you can use it sometimes, but do not use it as, like, a main weapon. It's not really a good idea. I've seen a lot of people use bigger doges against bosses, and it does bug out the drops you get from them. For example, big doges can block the drops from the Overseer, so, like, you know, just don't use doges on enemies, please. I don't really like doing that. Honestly, if, honestly, if King Doge did add those, um, extra options for doge combat in that spring update he planned before he left, it would've been really good, but now, just doge combat is, like, pretty crap. Okay, next. Be wise about your weapon um, usage. For example, so as you can see, I have all three of these weapons here. Um, the Buster Sword, Red Hyper Laser Gun, and the Frying Pan. You gotta think about which weapon you're gonna use as a main and what you're gonna use for like stronger combat. So, for example, obviously out of all of these three, the Frying Pan is probably gonna be much better to use because, like, um, it doesn't have as much range, but you'll still be able to get some hard hits with this one. Um, as for strong combat weapons, Buster Sword's gonna be really good because you can swing it like that, and then you get quick damage from this. So, always kind of like plan out your weapon usage and everything. Don't waste all of your durability on like a certain weapon. Like, at, like if I was gonna be using this thing all the time, it would probably like broken right now. 
again, like I mentioned before, always specifically focus on enemies that you can defeat or or you have the ability to. Don't focus on other enemies later on until you until you manage to get like a better weapon. So, uh, yeah, you get badges as well if you manage to kill a certain amount of enemies, rebirths, whatever. Oh, yeah, and always take the time to heal if needed. Because, like, healing, you know, you don't want to die in this game, like I mentioned earlier. So, like, always try to heal if you can. Make sure your doge is healthy, too. Okay, um, and, uh, that's about it for, like, a lot of the tips I have. Sorry if it isn't as much, I didn't really have much written down, but remember, you can um, put some ideas for yourself down too in the comment section. I, I, I might make a part two if I do get enough suggestions for like tips or whatever. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.